No, Lori, I am not giving you $15 for new hot rollers. <laughs> Straight hair is not the end of the world. Actually, Mom, Lori's world is a lot smaller and much more shallow than the average person's. <laughs> Oh, you know what else might be good for your self-esteem? Not being the village whore. Are you trying to start something with me, little boy? Because while you have to go to work, all I have to do is sit around and think up ways to hurt you. Oh, well, I don't know. As village whore, I'd think your day's all full up. Shut up! Ha! I win! <laughs> You're both wrong, so can it. You're dead. Ooh, I'm, I'm so scared. Kitty, you remember that little uh, French restaurant downtown? Frenchies? The one and only. I made reservations for tonight. Foreman, party of two. Well, now this is so spontaneous of you, Rad. <laughs> you haven't been reading my Cosmo, have you? <laughs> Come on, Kitty, we'll get all dressed up. You can even wear my mother's necklace. Oh, the necklace, yay! <laughs> Come on, Eric, we're gonna be late. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> Come on, Mom, French food's not that bad. Just order pomme frites. They're French fries, you know? <laughs> no, honey, the necklace, I don't have it anymore. Really? What'd you do with it? Nothing. I said nothing. Mom, did you gamble the necklace away? Okay, stop it, Lori. I'll make you get a job. Okay. I'm all ready, so let's go. Wow. You look great. <laughs> and you look sharp yourself, so let's go. Hey, weren't you going to wear my mother's necklace? Here it is. Doesn't it look nice? I tuck it in so I won't lose it. So, let's hit the road. Well, you know, that didn't really look like the one that she gave you. I'm sure it does. It looks just like it, because it is it. <laughs> now look who's getting old, doesn't even remember what necklace his mother gave me. <laughs> so let's move it out. <laughs> that hot dog you didn't even chew it <laughs> oh hey Hyde Father's Day is coming up shouldn't you practice saying hi are you my daddy oh by the way Lori the Surgeon General called he wanted you to stop hoarding all the penicillin when you're in prison, your bad table manners will probably just be a turn-on for some guy named Tank. Oh, well, maybe when you're there for a conjugal visit, you can ask him to take it easy on me. Oh, yeah? Well... Nice hair! Oh, Lori. Are you all out of put-downs? Yeah, I guess I'm having an off day. Even Eric burned me. Eric burned you? You are totally lame. I know, isn't that pathetic? Eric. What about me? Speaking of the spindly arm devil. What's so pathetic? Nothing. At least nothing we can share with you, Gomer. Oh yeah, well, nice hair. <laughs> Hey, how was dinner? Fine. Except your father wouldn't shut up about that stupid necklace. Look, Kitty, obviously something's going on here, so why don't you just tell me what it is? Did you lose it? No. Did you lend it to somebody? No. Then what the hell happened? I hawked it, okay? I hawked it. I pawned it. I hawked it. <laughs> you pawned my dead mother's necklace? Yes. And I'm not sorry, because we got groceries for it. So I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry, and I don't feel bad. <laughs> oh.
Oh, Eric, I feel so bad. Oh, you feel bad. Lori told everyone about Dr. Pee Pee. Oh, honey, that's not so bad. That's cute. Oh, please, I have told that story to so many... Mom! I didn't tell that story to anybody. Hey, Red. I'm very sorry I pawned that necklace. That's okay. I've been thinking about it and it's no big deal. Let's just let bygones be bygones. What do you say, pretty lady? What'd you do? A few months ago, I pawned the pocket watch your dad gave me. So we're even. Let's just get on with our lives. Oh, Red, how could you? Now, Kitty, who the hell needs a damn pocket watch? What time is it? I don't know. I'll check my pocket. <laughs> See what I mean? It's just stupid. Oh, Red. And I pawned a lawnmower and Eric's old phonograph player and snowblower. We had a snowblower? <laughs> Actually, it was Bob's. <laughs> Well, why'd you get so mad at me? I got mad at myself. Look, it's the man's job to support the family. And if he can't do that, it's the man's job to pawn the things to feed the family that he can't support. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know... Bob's been looking for that snowblower. Yeah, I know, Kitty. And believe you me, I'm running out of stories.